Hey everybody, this is Tyler Tapper, so happy to be with you here today for a kind of weird build, something a little bit different. So I had a client come to me, and what she does is she does wigs for different theater productions, things like that. She needed a way to store them and get them to where she was going. So with how she made them, there was a lot of styling involved, and she couldn't just throw the wigs into these Rubbermaid containers. They had to be on a head and then be separated from each other so they weren't damaged in transport. After I had everything measured out and cut out to the rough shape, I'm smoothing out all of the edges here, and then I'm coming over just with a roundover bit on the router. Why I'm doing this is I, there can't be any hot spots on those Tupperware, or I'm afraid it might break or start a place where it can crack. Uh, so any place where they're going to touch, I'm making it a soft transition. These are the heads that she's using to put the wigs on. Uh, we're going to put multiple ones on each one of these boards here. There is a opening in the bottom of them, and it's not just a, uh, it's tapered, so it was a little bit challenging to make, and some of the ones she was going to be using weren't styrofoam, so you couldn't just jam them on there and make them fit. You had to be somewhat precise with how big they were for the clearances, so I rounded over the top. I undersized the dowel a little bit so I could get an O-ring on there, um, put that towards the bottom, and that made it a snug fit so they wouldn't be rocking back and forth. After I figured out how far you could jam them up inside the head, just marking the bottom there, measuring the width of this board so I can see exactly how long they need to be cut so it's about even with the board when it's sitting on there. With the height figured out, I put on the chop saw here. Just putting a stop block on here, it's a repetitive cut. I want to make them all the exact same height, so it's the easiest way to do it. With all the dowels cut to length, it was time to put that same taper on the end of all of them. While I wasn't particularly concerned with the aesthetics of these, they were just, you know, utilitarian things for storage, I did make sure to finish everything and sand everything down really well. Uh, I was worried that some of the hairs might, if, if there was any rough spots, the hairs might get stuck to it and might mess it up. So I made sure everything was really smooth and glossy for them. To attach the dowels down into these boards, I'm just going into the Forstner bit, same size as those dowels, and going all the way through on this first one. I should have known better. There's a little bit of tear out on the end of it, as you can see. So I adjusted my technique a little bit going forward with them. I would go down almost all the way through until it just poked out. Then I'd go down on the other side and finish it out, and I could just pop that little plug out. For the second one, I thought it might be a little easier to drill a pilot hole through. When you sneak up with it on the Forestner bit, um, that little brad point, I mean, you just have to get just right or you'll go all the way through. So going through there, breaking a tiny drill bit off, but just doing a pilot hole so I can drill halfway through on the top, flip it over, and then drill halfway through the other way. Made it a little bit quicker. So again, on the second side, I can find the other part of that pilot hole and just go straight down into it. Now, I wasn't exactly uh, perpendicular with this when I was drilling the pilot holes there. I would have done it on the drill press if I had it to do over again because there was a couple holes that were a little bit off center from one side to the other. So I had to use a cartridge sander roll uh, just to even them out a little bit. But then I just went back with some regular wood glue, put it around those holes, and hammered them in. After everything was dry, just doing a final test fit in here, and then I'm going to get the O rings put on there, and they're ready to get some mannequin heads stuck on them. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate it. We'll get back next time with a few more regular projects. Uh, but until then, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.